Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today, for our number talk, we are dividing these two numbers and trying to decide if the quotient will be less than 4 or more than 4. Go ahead and take a moment and solve it yourself, and then we will look at our answers together. All right, so we're dividing 100 by 24.8. So I want to estimate this real quick, and I want to round to the nearest whole number. All right, so if I remember the algorithm, I could think, okay, look at the number next to it, and if it's 5 or more, it's going to go up. All right, so that looks like that's going to be 25, and then that just becomes 0. That's the algorithm. Another way to visualize it is think of the two boundary numbers. What are the two whole numbers that this is in between? Well, 24 and 25, and I'll put a point zero there since we're going to the, the tenths place. And let's just put our midpoint right there, 24.5. So anything we know at the midpoint or above is going to round up. And the 24.8, yeah, it gets right about there, right? 24.8, so that's why it's going to round up to 25. So if we were to think of 100 divided by 25, well, that's kind of big, but think of it like dollars and cents, right? So what is 100 pennies or $1 divided by quarters? How many quarters make a dollar? Oh, well, we get that. That's going to be easy, right? That's going to be your four. Four quarters make a dollar. Four 25s make a 100. Now, what happens if we look at the actual answer? It's going to be a little bit less than four, a little bit more than four. Well, what I want to do is I want to show you some patterns here. So what happens if I were to divide 100 by a whole bunch of different numbers? Okay, so let's divide it by 1. Oh, that's going to be easy. That's it's going to be 100. What if I put it into groups of 2? Well, that's 250s. We just did the groups of 4. That's going to be 4 quarters, 4 25s. I could also do groups of 5, right? How many nickels are in? A dollar, that's going to be 20. And the next one I can do is 10. Right? How many dimes are in a dollar? That's 10. And we can keep going. Now let's just look at the quarters. We don't have to necessarily hit all of them. Right? We can stop right here because we will have our point. Take a look at that. As my divisor, right? That's the number I'm dividing by. As that increases, take a look at that. One, two, 4, 5, 10, 25. Those are just the ones we use for this example. As those increase, look what happens to my quotient. They decrease. Because if I'm dividing 100 into one group, there's going to be 100 in that group. If I divide 100 into two groups, that's going to be 50 in each group. If I divide 100 into four groups, that's 25 in each group. So where does this land? This 24.8 even though it rounded up to 25, it's actually a little bit less than 25, isn't it? So if it's a little bit less than 25, right, it's going to be right here. It's going to be pretty close to that 25, but it's going to be a little bit less than the 25. So it's going to be right in between this 4 and this 10, which means it's going to be just a little bit more than 4, because it's going to land right here in the middle of our pattern here. So that means our answer is going to be a little bit more than four.